Hey all, um, so I wanted to show this video on multitasking. Uh, basically, I got the V30 update, I side loaded it. And if you now go into experimental features, you will see down here, multitasking. Now this didn't initially show up for me after I flashed the V30 update. What I had to do is I had to go up here and reset the experimental features, which caused a reboot, which by the way, I rebooted before after flashing v30 just to make sure i reboot it again and i did get some of the new uh features um, but not the the um the uh, multitasking um, so i had to do a reset to default then come back in and turn the stuff on and when you turn this on it will then say okay i got a reboot it'll reboot and then you'll get a dialogue on the thing kind of showing you how to use the multitasking which is kind of nebulous um uh, anyway, it didn't really, wasn't that helpful. So I'm going to show you the multitasking and what I call disappointment slash, um, quirks. Okay. Now I realize it's an experimental feature. I'm not beating Oculus up over it. It's, it's cool. They gave this to us at least in some way, but the main limitation is going to be that apps that are created have to allow running in the background. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that in a minute. Um, apps that don't have, uh, that aren't set to allow to run in the background, you can't use multitasking. So let me show you what I mean. And you're going to see the, the bar with the icon here. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to open the browser. And as you see, the bra there's a browser icon right here and I can minimize this. And the browser icon's still there. I don't have to go into apps and launch it again. And there it is. If I want to add something else, I'm going to add say events. And now you'll see two icons there, right? And if you want, you can switch back and forth or, so let's see, I'm in advance. I can take the browser and I can drag it over here. And now I've got both of these apps, if you will, open. You can open a third one. So I'm going to open up the uh, TV. And now you'll see I've got three icons here and I can drag. Nope, I've already got TV. So I'll drag uh, events over here. So I've got my events, I've got TV, and I've got my browser. Um, I'll show you this stuff that's pretty cool later about resizing, right? You can resize some of these. I mean, I can I can make this hu huge wrap around, right? I can resize this one too. Ah, let's see, where is it? It's not giving it to me. I think I've already used up all the space. So let's minimize that a little bit. Actually, I'm going to switch something here. One of them doesn't allow, uh, I'm open up the file browser, do what I did before. So and then I'm going to put on TV, drag the file browser over here. Okay, make this as big as I can. Oh, that's minimizing. There we go. So now as you see, the browser's huge. And now I can do the same over here which minimizes the file explorer. And then I can open up the file explorer until I'm all wrapped around. Look at this all the way behind me. So there we go. Huge screen. See that? So you can make it huge and wrap around. One of the things I wish they'd allow you to do is to be able to move them back. So even though I've got these big screens, I don't want to turn my head all the way around behind me. One way I found to do that is if I lean way forward and do a reset position, then I can kind of get that. Now, I'm not sure why you'd want screens this big, but I just wanted to show you that. Now, there are some quirks. So if I was to, by the way, you can, this, this bar on the bottom is new. So you can minimize apps, you can close apps. Some apps like the browser will have a toolbar here uh, for like refresh and whatnot. Um, and you can also um, grab this thing and move everything around see that and if you grab the bar down here you can actually change positions if it lets you sometimes it won't let you if you've got it all the space taken anyway i did find so if i go to if i'm gonna let, let me swap tv my browser and uh, minimize tv grab this guy and put him in that position i'm going to show you some quirks here and then put tv over here 
so there we go. Now, one of the quirks is if I, uh, um, actually, I wanted TV in the other position. Pardon me here. File Explorer, TV, put the File Explorer. So if I, uh, uh, some quirks with this, you see how it says TV? Well, if I go here to the store, it replaces TV, but it still says TV icon. It doesn't say store, so it's not updating these three icons, and it's real quirky. So if I expand the store to its full size, minimize this a little bit. And then what if I go to TV and then I reduce this, things get weird. Uh, I can't seem to recreate it. Anyway, I was having a bar down, uh, excess, a window larger than, uh, let's see, how did I do that before? Pardon me on this video. I was going to explain it. Let me go to, uh, back to store. Yeah, again, let, so let's say I, I go to events. Maybe it was events I did it with. And then uh, now that I'm in events, see, it didn't update. It still says TV instead of events. Now I've lost my adjustments. Let me reduce this. Yeah, see? See the quirks? I can't get the, the slider that allows me to adjust it. <laughs> yeah, there's there's some real quirks with even with, with the window sizing and everything. So let me go back to uh, store. Yep, see, see the quirks? Minimize. Drag him over there. <laughs> yeah, like I said, now I can't get, there we go. So if I expand that. Maybe it was File Explorer I had the problem with. Anyway, I, I had a case where when I switched between uh, between TV, um, events, and store, I would get an anomaly where there'd be, it would show this gray bar at the bottom here with nothing above it. And you couldn't resize it, just like you're seeing with some of the issues I'm having right now with sometimes getting this resizer. Anyway, I don't want to spend a bunch of time on that, but that's quirk. But I've got these three windows open, right? So I'm going to close this. It says you can have up to three apps. And now I'm going to go into apps. I'm going to launch YouTube. Well, as you see, I've launched YouTube, but now I can't minimize it. If I pull up the quick menu, you'll see the YouTube icon here, but none of my other icons are here and the reason that is is this youtube app does not is not allowed to run in the background the only thing i can do is quit or resume if i try to launch another app like files it says hey do you want to quit right so youtube isn't allowing in the background so the only things right now you can use in multitasking is apps that allow to be minimized and run in the background so if i exit youtube i will get back my multitask windows. Uh, once again, even though I closed the TV, it's still showing up here. There's the file browser. There's the browser. Why is this here? I minimized it, right? Kind of stupid. See, I'll min I'll close instead of minimizing it, I will close it. Oh, now it now it replaced TV with a different icon, as you see. It replaced it with the store. <laughs> so there's a lot of quirkiness there. Now I'm down to two. So if I uh, open TV, there's, oops, for a minute there, I thought I had the issue again. Anyway, uh, and now I'm wrap around again. So I'm going to lean forward and reset view. So the bottom line is it's real quirky. Uh, the only apps you can have that are, are, are the uh, three of with three windows are apps that allow multitasking uh, or to be <clears throat> run in the background. I haven't found a single app I have yet. Um, that allow, um, you know, I'll run anything here. Death Unchained. See, it takes over. You can't have it in a window. There's no way to minimize it. So I'm not going to wait for that to boot. See, my only choice is quit. 
I can select it here, but my other apps are gone because this app takes over everything. The bot, and then of course, when you come back, it will give you your three screens again. And again, I wish I could move them back or forward or however I like, because I don't want to have to look 380 everywhere or 180 degrees everywhere. So anyway, I wanted to share, I was had some high hopes for the multitasking. I will say it's cool Oculus is doing this now. So instead of a bunch of browser tabs or something like that that you were restricted to, you now can have, um, you know, um, a browser, the TV, uh, Oculus TV. And by the way, I'll I will show you something in Oculus TV. So let me go to Oculus TV. If you go, I've got BMBF loaded. I did find that BMBF will multitask. So there we go. Now I've got my uh, web browser. I've got BMBF. I've got my file explorer. I'm going to reduce the size of that. And there we go. So, I mean, BMBF will work. So, again, it depends on things that um, will allow you to multitask. Here's an Android app that I side-loaded. It's a, it's a file explorer. And the bummer, oops, the bummer is that is not an app that allows to be run in the background. So when someone says, hey, I can't wait till we get Android apps, unfortunately, oh, I had a yellow dot. A yellow dot means I couldn't record that. And there you go. There's the weird window anomaly when I switched. You see that? I've got the bar down here, but nothing above it because I switched from the TV browse, which gives me this. That's where I found it. And when I go to channels, I wind up with this. And the weird thing is you can't resize around it. You can't get rid of it. It doesn't resize. So again, uh, I think Oculus has some work to do. Um, it's cool. I like it. But um, enhancements need to be done. Uh, just to summarize, ability to move it back a little bit, more like this, where I can still keep my my bar close right and um that way i get a better perspective <clears throat> the ability for i guess developers are going to have to start allowing apps to run in the background in order to get the full capability of this multitasking uh, but i haven't found too many that work i mean basically this stuff right tv events browser store explore right that's all that works um any app in here that i've tried doesn't work Right. So, I mean, even movie apps, it would be nice if I could have a screen with a movie playing. But if you like launch big screen, once again, that app does not allow to be run in the background. Thus, the you can't. There it is here down here in the icon tray and nothing else. So I can't switch. So the only option is to quit. And then you can get back to your uh, your three apps that allow it. Anyway, I thought I'd share what the multitasking's about. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll use it really when I'm just limited to these things. Uh, again, it would be nice to have a movie playing over here while I'm doing that. I'm, I can't even bring up YouTube, right? I'm sure if I went to YouTube in the browser, I can watch stuff, right? So that works. Anything basically that you can watch in the browser will work. Um, but a movie app will not. So, you know, if you can go to your usual browser stuff and, um, you know, that stuff will work. So, cool. More work to be done. Hopefully, they'll add some features where we can do some of the things I suggested. And uh, I hope this helps people understand that the multitasking's not everything you expected it to be. Still kind of cool.